Great seeing you back for Devos. All right, all this week I've been talking about prayer. I mean, there's nothing more fitting than talking about prayer to all, to all my folks out there. They come to us for devotions each day, so it's nice having you here. Uh, but I think it would really, really help you. Now, I want to talk about having courage in prayer. Courage in life. Look here, Psalms 91, verse 15. God says, now, when he, talk about us, or you, when he calls to me, I will answer him. That's a promise. I will be with him in trouble. Okay, maybe you brought your own trouble on yourself, okay? But now you turn to the Lord. God said, well, I'm going to be right there with you. There's something he wants you to learn. I will rescue him and honor him. I like that. Listen, you know, as a Christian, we ought not to be afraid of nothing. And I mean that. Other people, I mean, I'll say it again. Now listen, this virus out here, I know it's been real. I, I listen, there, there's people, you need to take all the proper precautions. Okay, but virus or no virus, don't be afraid. Do all the right things, but don't be afraid because God, God, God's not going to take you home a day sooner than what you're supposed to go home. Now, look at me in Psalms 91, verse 5. He said, you will not fear, if you're with the Lord here, the terror by night. Do you see that? The boogeyman, there we go. Nor by the arrow of the five by day. Nor for the pestilence. That's, that's COVID-19. <laughs> I mean it. There we go. That stalks in darkness. Nor for the destruction that waits at noonday. We're constantly worried about some other country bombing us. Folks, listen. You can't worry about that stuff. I mean, Jesus is in control. And so, but when you pray, God will give you peace. God will give you courage. You'll feel the presence of, of, of God with yourself. Now, look at this here phrase. Let your faith be bigger than your fear. That's true. So let's say you got people say, oh, you know, I really trust in the Lord. I really believe in the Lord. Uh, and, and, but I still have fear. Um, your faith isn't real strong. Do you hear me? It's not. I want you in prayer to say, I am not afraid of anything but God. Should you fear God? Yes, you should. Yeah, you'll do the right thing. He'll, he'll give you a, he'll give you a whip. It. He really will. I'm warning you, okay? So I'm just telling you that. There's things you ought to fear and you don't fear, and it's dumb things we do fear. You should not fear. Let your faith be bigger than your fear. Look in Psalms 91 11. For God, he'll command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. We, we just brought that series on angels. I, I love that series. Angels are with us. You have, a, you have a heavenly host that follows you around. He said, don't worry, because I'm, I'm, I'm watching over you. I, I always like that story in 2 Kings chapter 6, where Elisha, he's, the enemy's coming down to get him, and his, his prophet is with him. And, and so the prophet begins to, or I mean, servant begins to freak out. So Elisha asked God to open up the servant's eyes. And then the servant saw, I mean, tens of thousands of angels on horses uh, all around them protecting him. That, that's our God. Hey, I got one last thing to tell you. If you're having a lot of trouble today, I want you to put this one in your prayer at the end. Ready? This too shall pass. Listen, don't worry about it. Don't be afraid of it. God's going to get you through it. But you have to pray.